Maraming salamat po. Hindi siya. Thank you for the courtesy. Former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo and Sir Mike, Secretary Silvestro Bellio and the other members of the Cabinet, the Honorable Members of the Senate and of the House of Representatives, Pampanga Governor Lilia Pineda and other local government officials, Pampanga's bird culinary chefs, mga kasamahan ko sa gobyerno, mga kababayan ko. Now, I have a, a prepared speech, but uh, it would really be a travesty of uh, justice if I do not pay my respect to the rich and cultural heritage of the Pampangueños. Alam mo, I grew up in a place called Davao, and it was a mixed crowd there. As a matter of fact, I remember with fondness uh, my neighbors who were Kapangpangans. But the closest to my heart until now, yung mga Lising, uh, mang, si Dr. Lising, to si doctor who migrated to Davao, and marami silang ginawang fishmans doon. But they migrated uh, to America. And naabutan ko pa, Yung kabats ko sa pamilya niyon si Julie Singh, and he died about two years ago. I think Flor Lee Singh is here already. He's back in the Philippines. Yun ang mga kababata ko. And every time I uh, get invited by the family, kasi kapit bahay lang kami, to break bread with them, uh, masayang masaya ako kasi masarap talaga ang luto ng pangpanggini. Mas marami kayong, I would say, uh, a lot more of the menu, mga recipes. Maybe because of the influence of uh, all Americans, uh, Spaniards, and the native uh, talent of the Pampangueños. Sa Visayas naman, ang pwede lang ma masabi mo talaga na marunong rin magluto, mga ilunggo. Tayo ng ilunggo nga damo sa nga ilo-ilo. O, paulinti nga. Hindi mag-gamay sa gano'n yan. Hindi magsalita ng gano'n. Marunong yan magluto. Far in between the eye uh, sa mga tribes ng ano, uh, Pilipinas. Pinakasimple yung akin. Uh, I am uh, a son of a Cebuano. But my mother is a uh, half Maranao. My grandfather was Chinese. He was a lam. I'm from China. So, masabi ko sa kung luto luto lang the simplest are the Visayans. Pirito lang yan kanila. Tapos tinulang isda, tinulang manok. No such frills as yung mga soft man. Unlike the Pampangueños, na talagang Kanina, kung mag, mag, ano ka nang, can compare really the best uh, in the Philippines. But most of all, sabi ko kay Bebot, Belio, but magbalik tayo dito kasi noong kampanya, this is not a sexist uh, statement. Uh, ang problema kasi dito sa Pilipinas na wala na yung, not only the humor, but the admiration for beautiful women. If you do that, you are considered, you know, Eh, inbinto ng mga West dyan eh. Hayaan mo sila kung anong gusto nila. But one thing really that I would concede, pinakamaraming maganda dito sa Pangpanga. Maniwala kayo. Giplying kiss ko nga yung isa kanina. So, uh, eh, nagtitinginan kami. And she was uh, the time looking at me. Kaya sabi ko, Tumingin ako kay ma'am, sabi ko. Marami. Na, 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 nahalata ko yun noong nagkakampanya ako. I mean, hindi yung, yung mga young high school, ano? Mapuputi na magaganda. Even the image, yung pagka-sculpture ng muka. I don't know how many tribes got mixed here, but uh, really, it is a good one, like the food. So, I am here to serve uh, uh, the 
invitation of the president uh, kay si ma'am alam mo naman ninyo um, boss ko si president Arroyo and I know uh, that you know that I owe a lot sa kanya uh, though I was not really a member of the cabinet or what not but I was uh, a very close confidant uh, we, we talk about state affairs and uh, particularly law and order. Uh, kaya nga naman, uh, nung ako naging presidente, law and order pa rin ang napag-usapan ngayon. Marami na akong kaso. So, kung may jail kayo na maganda dito, nilo na ako pakulong. But, uh, I would not mind you serving me with the food that uh, you are you have the extreme expertise ah ayo ko kung pasahin ko to hindi dalawang pages lang nakakaya naman kay ma'am ah babasahin ko lang siguro ang last page the penultimate uh, paragraph i suppose to do justice to the guy who I mean, uh, burned the midnight candles last night just to prepare a, a few words for me, to you. Let me reiterate that the Philippines remains as a place for visitors and continues to be a conducive investment destination. Rest assured that we are undertaking measures to encourage travelers to come here so they can have more fun and exciting experience in the country. I ask each of you to join me in spurring economic growth and fostering unity and solidarity here in Pampanga and the rest of Central Luzon. Let us show to the world that the Philippines has to offer. What the Philippines has to offer? A world-class hospitality, some to us good and unique heritage. Alam mo, ang swerte ninyo is uh, used to be a bane for those uh, ultra-nationalist or to the communists uh, in this country. The existence of the military bases, the Americans. Yung Pangpanga noon was uh, not really a ridicule but was something of uh, uh, almost an alien because uh, it was inhabited by a mix of uh, Caucasians and Filipinos. But uh, alam, alam mo mar marunong ang Diyos eh. Uh, binigyan niya kayo ng lahar which is now put to good use uh, in construction and in everything. And uh, actually, the most important part was binigay sa iyo ang klaro for you to manage and make use of. Clark is a very important destination now in the Philippines. If we want of space, kung may magpunta doon sa men, easily I would say, go to Clark. And you have all the amenities of uh, what a kind of uh, site you would have. It is flat uh, lands, and uh, the resources are also there. Ang kulal lang natin is the infrastructure for mobility. But in due time, I think, uh, in the fullness of God's time, we will have it. I hope it would come even half of what they have uh, offered so far. Kalahati lang sana. But Clark is a very important arterial place kasi ito yung papalabas talaga ng Luzon upwards. And the development, because it is very important that we disperse the industries. Manila, I think, uh, will be, in about 25 years, will be a dead city. It will start to decay, and there is no way that we can rehab the place. For one, uh, and that is why I was so pissed off with these guys uh, when I asked them about Clark, uh, about uh, Pasig, anong gagawin ninyo? And they say that... Uh, 
we will restore it so it's uh, pristine place and let aquatic life flourish there and sabi ko naman may mga taga probinsya simple logic lang you know guys you 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 sit on the papers and wait for uh, it galit ako nitong sa komiso gusto kong i-fire out eh. Uh, Naghihilang tao. They sat on the papers of, of uh, a company that's supposed to build the railroad bridge dyan sa Pandakan somewhere. Uh, yun nga sabi na mahirap daw i-process kasi may mga plano sila. So what the hell are you planning to do in passing? First of all, you do not have the silver and sewerage. We are one of the few countries that has septic tank. Uh, pardon the for those who are eating. And so I you cannot rehabilitate the place. You have to baklasin mo ang Manila to do that. And there's no more time and space for all of you who want to do something about it. You have to disperse the crowd. Limit the factories at some time uh, in the future, but not really mine, so that would be too early. But about 10 years from now, this should close Manila and start to develop. It, ito, itong pinakamaganda ngayon. Eh. Unless we're able to come with something very similar to Clark. In other places, maybe Batangas or Cavite, mahirapan tayo. So Manila is no longer an option for industries. They have to go to the provinces. But the most important thing is there has to be a transport, whether mass or if there are too many cars, then you have to expand the highways. But I think the most uh, practical thing to do is really the mass transport system. And many are willing. It's only a matter of the grid. Kasi sabi ko ka, nandito rin sila, Senator uh, Soto. You have to simplify more yung sa ano. Alam mo, dito talagang hirap ako sa ano. Ang corruption, still. Maski na nagtatanggal ako ng tao, almost every day. And the latest one was a guy who was working under my nose. Yung undersecretary ng budget sa Malacanian. Who was... Bawa na lang kasi mag-DDS ngayon eh. Kasi nahalata na ng human rights. Gusto kong patayin ang putang ina niya. So, you know, you have to... It has to be a radical... It, ito, I, I do not mean to offend anybody, especially the Senate. Nothing of the sort. Ngakin lang is, uh, Tugadi had a hard time. And uh, uh, almost all in unison were of the belief that there has to be some drastic changes to be introduced. And it has to be on something like any hurry. So young emergency power. And if you remember, I never asked for it because I was once a member of Congress. Nung nakatatlo ako pagka mayor na Nabo. I've been mayor for 23 years of Nabo City. So alam ko ang timplada ng Congress. I wanted na manggaling sa kanila. Pero ko nang samdanan, appealing me, appealing to them, ito. Kasi hindi pa nga ako nagsalita, sabi na kaagad, ah, well, ma, ito, you cannot trust the guys there in the executive department. It will just end up in corruption. Tiklop na kaagad ako. And if you would recall, I never, never responded to any of those uh, statements for or against. Hinayaan ko na lang. Because that is the Filipino style. I started to, went, uh, to, 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 to I went to to China, started to move around, and uh, then to Japan and Korea. <coughs> Excuse me. So, 
Yan ang ginawa ko. Pero kung sabihin mo na mag-asa pa ako sa tayo-tayo, mahirap. I don't know what's, what's uh, wrong, but uh, if that is the perception of uh, an entity, I'm, I'm not trying to, I said, pardon me if I give the impression, but I, I am, I'm, not, I'm not up to it, actually. Wala na lang akong imik. Sabi ko, well, uh, then we, we continue to suffer until such time that Japan or China, whoever gets there first, to build the, and if we have the financing, then we can move. But I never really insisted on it. Kasi sa lahat ng ayaw ko is yung sa corruption. Talagang ano ako, yung ma- maano ako. Because uh, just maybe, maybe in my lifetime, I, I can also, every president does not want. But uh, if you can minimize uh, year after year and start really to pound on the, the paradigm of so many persons, karamihan kasi magpasok sa gobyerno, do you know their targets? <coughs> Excuse me. BIR, pati customs, that's the choice. So pag may magpunta sa akin, keeps on coming back because he wants to be a in the, in the customs and the BIR, magdududa na talaga ako. Wala na kasing iba yan. It's uh, for self-glorification. Uh, Ganun lang yan. So the number one is graph. Now remember, in my campaign, I don't know why I got 50 million, 15 million plus plus. With the six million majority. I won here. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Uh, hindi kayo nagkamali. Tala. I will do exactly what I promised you. First, I said that I will stop corruption. Maasahan talaga nila. And even if I have to fire, uh, it will go on and on until I get rid of... Uh, the major players. There will be no more sacred cows, yung mga exemptions that enjoyed by itong the ruling elite, the, the so-called 400 of society. I am not against the oligarchs. I do not uh, the nurture any class hatred against them. But uh, talagang lalo na sila. Makapatawad pa ako ng isang empleyado lang na e gatekeeper. Pero itong mga mayaman magkamali ito talagang and ako ayaw ko namang to belabor the point. Si gusto ko ang sabihin but it was only during my time na we were able to collect millions from those who never paid their taxes for so long a time. And to think that uh, they, they are uh, of the belief that tapos na sila. No. I will hound them until they pay to the last. And they can do their worst, uh, threatening me with the uh, imprisonment, uh, international court of justice. It will not stop. And here and now, uh, media is uh, ably represented. Almost all networks are here. It's really a non-issue to me. As I have said yesterday. Sasayangan mo lang yung laway ko. Hindi ako hinto. I have said it and I will do it. In the campaign, di ba sinabi ko sa inyo, I will do it even if it would, it would cost me the presidency, my life or my own. The third is, sabi ko, I will improve the economy. But first of all, I, I, I hold it as an article of faith that no progress or development can ever really hold in, lalo na sa countryside if there is no peace at all. I never said law and order because law and order is a very ambivalent thing. Kasi kung kami ang yumayari, 
pampaimbisig ka agad ng mga gago. I'm referring to the communists. Tapos kung sila mag-ambas, pati bata, eh, four months old, but that was the last straw actually. They, 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 they plan to waylay uh, my soldiers, my policemen, at tapos sila ngayon ang nag-ambos ng pulis, pati bata, a four-month-old baby was hit in the head. Pagtakbok agad. Ito namang ulol na. Kaya wala akong respeto eh. I'm, I'm a person na ano. Kasama naman kami ni Ed sa eskwilahan noon. Your mayor. One year ahead lang ako sa... Hindi naman ako ganun papamura na tao. Kasi nasadya ko yan in my not even disgust. And paano rin ang baba ng tingin ko sa kanila? Ha? Pwede kong bababuyin. Puro sheer stupidity. Na yung laban na ito, pati itong mga left, just so fond of You know, just go around and say, well, we show to you the 10,000 o oh, may isang psychiatric doctor pa babae, sabi this, 3 million daw ang pinatay ko lahat-lahat. E di kung 3 million ang pinatay ko lahat-lahat, eh, nagyaman ang lahat ng punirarya dito sa mundong ito. Puro na kay bilyonaryo. Bilo mo 300 bodies to slash on. And they don't even bother. No, pagdating dito, they bring in the, the experts kuno. And so, the, the, 700. And then they bring that figure out and start to yap. We don't even, and when they come here, they lecture on me. And Mr. Duterte, that is a social problem. It is a health issue. It, it's not a, a law and order. Tatarantado pala kayo. Why don't you turn the other, the other, the bako? If it's a social justice, injustice, if you so look at what caused it in the first place. Where did it start? How did it start? Where was the seeds planted? That is how to solve a problem that affects or impacts on a social life of a certain civilization. Kung dala-dala mo lang yung... So ngayon, <coughs> sarapan ako doon sa chicharon. Subo ako na subo. Sandali ha. May naiwan siguro dito. <coughs> Thank you. Yung kinain ko doon. Eh. Pagpunta ka ako ng ma'am doon sa, doon sa... May bahay pala ako dito puting bahay. Sabi nga ni Gob, gamitin mo. Gusto ko, ma'am, pero ang problema, sinong kasama ko? Ako na mag-isa? Wala namang. Well, yung isa naman, yung, I said, I tried to, because ang pinaka lagging behind, really lags behind, almost to a fall is the agricultural sector. The only way to improve it really is to give more lands if you can afford it. I am for land reform. I am for, uh, yan, isa yan sa sinabi ko sa kampanya. And I will not renege on it. Land reform, I will look for money and buy more. There's a new dar ahead. Yung isa, hindi kasi na-confirm ng commission appointment because those leanings will be left. Wala tayong magawa dyan. We have a Congress that uh, hindi naman ultra but uh, not really sympathizing with the communists. So, iyan ang ano. We have to improve the manufacturing side of the agricultural sector. That is the only way how we can improve things. But we have to have law or peace then. E, itong mga komunista, left and right ang hingi. Yung bagong pumapasok dyan, they start to extort. 
And they say that they are helping the Filipinos for what? Subsidizing what? How many members of the Pulot, uh, Pulit, uh, Pulit, uh, Pulit Blue is there? The Central Committee. Yan lang man nag-enjoy. Naawa ako dito sa mga pisante, pati yung mga estudyante na dumaan rin ako. Yan, yan sabi nga nila, kaibigan ko yan si Son. I used to listen to him. But you know, when you are lang idealistic, ah, madali. Because pag siya, oh, tingnan mo niya, bakit bahay niya, mansyon, ang iyo, tingnan mo. Ganun lang yan ang mga simple na naawa ako sa tao na ganun ang lukuhan. And they are dying, most of the, yung nasa left movement, yung mga bata, nagpapakamatay ito for the belief or the ideals or the ideologues na wala naman talagang makontribute. It's too late in the day to introduce even the simplest form of socialism. The Filipinos will never be ready for it. Wala talaga tayong mga. They, they just want the, itong ganito. But maybe, yung iba gusto na a little bit more of a democratic uh, and representative, not only of the persons of the Republican theory, but representative also of the national level. It takes time. It will not happen during my time. You can be very sure of that. But what I would like to do is just stick to my promise. Hindi ko nga niramihan niya. Kasi mahirap na gano'n. Alam ko na politiko ako. If I complete the presidency, I would have been 40 years in elective positions. I never lost an election since 1988. Kaya alam ko na kung gaano maglaro ang gobyerno. I said, now... Traffic is really horrendous. We are living in a horrendous life. Unless uh, relief can come somewhere else, we are stuck with it. Pero ako, hindi uh, naman ako sa pang ano, ay ayaw. Lalo na kung sabihin, tapos uh, totoo nga pala, nagkatalaga, nagka, nagnawawala ang pera, mas lalo na. No? There is a... There's a caveat, and it says, uh, we won't give it to you because you'll steal it. I may answer, and then, so be it. We'll just have to look for another way. We could have done it uh, a little bit faster, but for, for one reason or another, uh, it has nothing to do with politics. Kasi kaibigan ko lahat eh. But there's something to do with the contempt of the members of Congress who really their observations are really true. Paano ko i-control ang corruption? So they must uh, give me the powers yung to cut red tape. Alam mo, ang unang talagang alisin yung lowest bid that's an in, I, I don't know who, who invented that goddamn process of buying things, procurement. Alam mo, ang Louis Bitt, pinaka talagang, pinaka source of all corruption, lalo na sa local governments. Kasi lahat, ibab, idadive niya, 100 billion project. Then he will build, uh, for example, like the other build uh, 93. I can build the 100 million for 93 million. Yung iba, itong mga sindikato, there's a group here in the Philippines. Wala yung ginawa kung maghanap ng mga bids. Wala yung ginawa kung mag-gold. Yung medyo mga gangster, makita mo yan sila. The way the... No, they panter around. Ito maghintay lang ng kung may blessed bid, pupunta yan sila lahat doon. Sige, ikaw magbid ka ng 60, ganun, ako 40. E pagka ibagsak niya yan, o sige, hanggang dito lang tayo kasi wala, wala na tayong project kung ganun. Ayun, yun ang mananalo. Tapos, bayaran mo na lang kami sa 
Then they look on. Ano ba dyan, Andre, sa probinsya mo? Ganon yan ang sindikato niya. Kaya, it is unlawful to kill. Pero gusto ko sila ilagay na sa kategory ng drugs. Para mas madali. Kasi pag sinabi na uh, drugista yan, idagdag na lang yung pangalan niya doon sa listahan nila human rights. Di okay na. Pakialam ko ba dyan kung mamatay kayo hindi? So that's the problem. Me, I'll stick to my original. No corruption. And you can... You better believe it because I'm going to do it. Droga, it's not an issue to me. It will be a policy to, until the dying days of my presidency or of my life. Third, I place everything on the table. My presidency, and sabi ko sa military, pag hindi niyo ako gusto, we had a, a, a con, uh, command conference. If you think that there's another one who can do it better than me, then fine. You do not have to fight against each other because you mga gwardiya ko, military rin, pati police. You just tell me that you have found somebody who's better than what I can offer. I'll step down. Maghanap kayo. Pero yung three promises na yan. Now, I have not, I'm not ready to talk anymore with the rest. I said, you know, look guys, we have been fighting for 50 years. It started many, many years ago, high school pa kami. You were already around killing Filipinos. Be they soldiers, policemen, the barangay captains. Karamba tayo dito sa Luzon. Pinakamara yung patay ninyo, barangay captains. Yung those who remain loyal to government. Na hanggang ngayon, if you want to fight another 50 years, fine. Kita mo kanina ang rami kong sundalo nagtitraining. Then I can, we fight for another 50 years. That is what you want. Pero talagang distorted. Because I sent Bebot Belio. Eh, si Bebot medyo left yan eh. <coughs> the guy in front of him is a rightist because he is the defense secretary. Negotiator ko sa left, si Bebot, pati si Duresa. Na, na may defense secretary is, uh, used to be a... He, he was assigned in Dabao when I was mayor. He brought the second ranger... Uh, Scout Ranger Battalion. Kaya nagkaibigan kami ni Delvin. Uh, sabi ko, ayaw ko na maging pag-usap sa kanila. So make a choice. Wala naman talaga kayong ginawa except uh, you, season, you've been fighting a war, directing a violent uh, struggle while you enjoy your uh, sanctuary in the Netherlands. Bakit hindi kayo mauwi dito? Tayo na lang ang magkapakan. Para kayong mga senyorito doon. At the expense of uh, another. You're being subsidized by the Norwegian government. Itong drugs, uh, give me a little bit of time. I will finish it to the last man. I do not care what pe other people say. I do not give a shit what the International Court of Justice is. For at the end of the day, if my country collapses under the weight of drugs, you will not be here to help the Philippines. Kaya wag ninyo akong bullshitin yung... Pag nagkalitsilet si ang bayan, mabuti pa naman, mabuti naman makaasa kami sa inyo. Uh, it's really an epidemic. Four million is four million. You are reducing a number of my countrymen to slavery, a slave addicted to a drug 
that is a monkey on their back forever. Sabi pa nilang, ang ayaw ko, there was this black man to go there with. Sino yung pangalan ng yawa niya? Kalamard? Dude, as any other time, kasi nandito si ma'am. Look at the incongruity of the United Nations. Eh sila, why should I blame a particular office? Yung drugs. This is a, a brochure or a literature or whatever you call it. It comes from the United Nations. And then, this is the International Narcotics Control Board. Kanila ito. Okay. Now they have a summary of the drugs that are afflicting humankind. They have the introduction, which is really beautiful English, and they start with the cannabis. And it says, cannabis smoke contains 50% uh, more tar than the high tar cigarettes, which puts the users at an increased risk of lung cancer and other respiratory disease. Yan lang. So, we go now to the next. Ang mahirap nito. <laughs> Ay, yung dumikit eh. Cocaine is the favorite of the Americans. Mixing cocaine with alcohol is a dangerous cocktail and can greatly increase the chances of sudden death. Yon lang ang mga warning nila. Ecstasy. Other risks. Uh, aside from being get, getting wild while partying. Uh, tablets or pills are sold as ecstasy may contain other potentially dangerous substances which can vary in strength and effect. Heroin uses risk overdosing on heroin can lead to coma and death through respiratory depression. Ang pinakalast, which is the methamphetamine, Methamine, vitamin, vitamin use sometimes triggers aggressive, violent, and bizarre behavior among users of all the drugs uh, narrated there. Shabu, which is the popular drug here, because it's cheap. Murai. Now, sabi nila, why is Duterte killing the poor only and not the rich? Kung hindi ka pa naman gago, you're not that stupid. The rich guy, the, the rich guys, if at all, if they use drugs, they buy heroin and cocaine. And it is not that bad after all. Sabi ng mga taga United Nations or whatever, because it is an organic thing comes from a puppy, opium, or marijuana for them. But itong siyabu is a mixture of deadly chemicals. As a matter of fact, the water used there for mixing is the one in the industrial water that's used to pour water to make siyabu. Well, yan ang problema. And among the others, it, is, uh, it can cause violent and aggressive. 
Sinasabi ko na sa kina. I've told them several times for the end time, maybe yesterday. Na itong shabu, ang gumahawak ng shabu, lumalaban talaga. For why is it, if it is not that dangerous and violent, why is it that to, to date I have lost 242 policemen? in drug-related raids and arrests. And in Marawi, because it was fueling the ISIS, there is less policemen dying, but more of the soldiers. Because in, in Marawi, the whole of the place was being used to manufacture Shabu. I said to fuel the ISIS. So that if uh, they go into a raid, the police cannot do it. Because you have to have armored tanks and all the heavy weaponry. That is why in the even the now campaign against drugs, I have lost something like almost 300 policemen. That is including those who died in the actual fight when there was the siege already. Yung noon yun. Those were arrested and the deaths over. Until today, and you can be very sure of this, I'm losing on the average six to eight soldiers or policemen in Mindanao in drug-related cases. Kaya ako, that is why I am almost... Uh, Ill-mannered, I talk brass language. It's because the United Nations itself has a conflicting theory about the International Court of Justice uh, expert said. I think he was a black doctor. I'm sure you, you heard them on TV. Oh, it's, it's, it's okay. Shabu will not, uh, to put it mildly, let's put you in stupor and that is all there is to it. Actually, Shabu shrinks the brain of a person. It's an American forensic finding. And when you shrink your brain, Rehabilitation is no longer possible. For all intents and purposes, you have a robot there or a, an insane person walking around. If the monkey starts to crawl on his shoulders, on his back, and he be, begins to itch, then he look for money to do it. That is why in the past, I said it's a social problem. Count the many children raped, killed, and women. When they are uh, on high against drugs, it's a bizarre behavior. The last one in the Visayas, he cut the head of his wife and shouted, we have no more problem with Duterte. I already cut his head. I mean, uh, he, was cut, he cut the head of his wife. That's what I do not like about foreigners fucking this country. Leave us alone and, and we will solve the problem. We do not enjoy killing our own country. It is not a good policy. But we are besieged, I said, with something that is very terrible. China is already suffering from it. But four million is four million addicts. Forty-two percent of the total barangay are contaminated with shabu. There are 9,000 policemen. I don't know if I have to kill them in the shabu business and also shabu addicts. Think about that. And I said... If there is a way that we can solve this problem to the acceptance of all, 
Fine, I will do it. I will walk not only the extra mile. I will walk for one day to find it. But in the meantime, I said, I will not allow my country to go to the dogs. And I will not allow, that's, that's, that's the reason why. That's why they think that I committed a crime. And I was mayor, I was fixing my city. All I said was, do not destroy my city. I am not a policeman. I am not a law enforcer. I am a mayor and I build city. I build the city. When I became president, I said, I am a president, not a policeman, not a soldier. I'm trying to build a nation. Allow me space to build a good nation. Do not destroy my country because I will destroy you. Do not destroy the youth of the land because they are our only assets. Magkano ba ang pension ko? Baski kayong only soldier. How much pension do we get? Benefits. You think we are rich? Policeman? It's about 50, 56. Uh, their salaries uh, were increased. I increased it double come uh, January. And I promised it during the last election. Double na sila ngayon. But that's something like 60. How much do you think would cost us if we enter the age of 60, 65 retirement? Papasok na yan. Hypertension, kidney, heart, uh, management, something, diabetes. And how much do you spend if you go to the hospital? You think that such 60, 70,000 would last you a year? Me? Well, I get a higher. Maybe I can go to the hospital. St. Luke's, Cardinal Santo. The longest my salary can sustain me on my the benefits, maybe for five months. After that, I'm in Ghana. Then I'll have to pray to God just to take me to... So what's the purpose of living here if you are spending the money of your children? Now, what, 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 why I am saying do not destroy our children? Because we are not a rich country. We do not have Medicare, insurance, feel health for how much? It will be our children who will deliver the deliverance but for a short time. Sila yung, they will buy the porridge to, so that we can eat. They'll buy the oxygen, medicine. They'll pay for the funeral parlor. And they'll pay for your coffin. We do not have so much, uh, we rely on our children. And we are dependent on them. To a great extent, when our time comes, when you are no, no longer obvious to anybody. Jan ako nasasaktan. And even in, after this, I would like to beg uh, your indulgence because uh, 200 of our countrymen uh, repatriated, uh, I think we paid for their fare. I'm going to the airport together with the Secretary Bellio of Labor. Going to meet them there. How many Filipinos are deployed outside? Mostly in the Middle East. How many times have you read in the newspapers regarding the suffering of our country? You know, when the husband leaves the family to work in other places. It leaves a dysfunctional family. A family without a husband and a father is somehow dysfunctional. When the mother and father who decide to work out of this country, definitely 
because the children are left to the care of the grandparents, the sister-in-laws, the brother-in-laws, or to cousins. They grow up almost defenseless. And they are the ones who are identified by the neighborhood idiots who are receiving money regularly. And they are the ones being pushed to the wall of addiction every day, every bit. And how many times have you read our countrymen, women especially, being raped, jumping out of the windows, you know, hanging themselves. It's universal. I am sure it's universal completely. They only sleep three to four hours a day. And they are fed or they, they eat the leftovers. They're being raped by the husband, the head of the family, then the son, and the son-in-law would come, and they have to suffer these degradations because of this, uh, their desire to earn money so that they can send the money here so that they can educate their children. Only to realize after so many years working there that nothing was up. And they always say, why is Duterte killing only the poor? The shabu is the drug addressed to the poor because one sachet is only 200. And I'm sure that uh, they are being, uh, money is sent to them by, Alam Nila, they know that uh, there's, uh, this guy has money regularly. So if you are the president of this Republic of the Philippines, and you know the, the, the loss of dignity and all, of your own, and only because we are poor, how would you feel? Pretended sentiment? Maybe. You don't know me. I mean, you don't know that uh, I was also was once. Uh, I am not a poor man now. I would be lying. But uh, if you take all of these things into one, uh, I could kill you for it. Better avoid. I will avoid confronting you. Just drop the gun, just drop the drugs. Mayors, look at Parahino, the mayor of uh, Osamis, anybody of you here from them. There was no election. There was nothing. You run against them, they will kill you. Look at, at this rest house. You saw it on TV. The wallpaper were all 500 pesos denomination. Money used to decorate a small paper in the house. How obscene can one get? And that is why he was also killing the policemen who did not obey him. There are still four missing, three were recovered when he was killed. Kasi naka uniforme pa eh, but already bones. And uh, the Albuera mayor, when they say that uh, I ordered the killing, maybe yes, maybe no. But if you do that, if you use the public office as a platform of drugs, to drug my country, and you are an elected public official, and there is no election in your city because you just simply kill and even your own policemen, 
then sometimes I would say, maybe it's high time that you go. I ordered their killing. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Do not go into a guessing game. For you might guess it right. And I would be sorry for you. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Thank you very much, President Duterte. We'll have a very quick photo opportunity here. We'd like to call on uh, former President GMA, please, Governor. Vice Governor, the board members and the mayors and vice mayors on stage, please. This is going to be quick, so let's do it. Thank you. All those whom I have called on stage now, please.